I think it's an overdose of so-called smart cities discussion that we have had uh, uh, perhaps uh, in like last uh, few months. Now, uh, and to the, coming to the question of how uh, IT can play a role in uh, making cities smarter. So I would rather maybe put a structure which perhaps can, uh, so the one is that I will pick up a phrase called, say smarter, I think one of my friends talked about in the last conference, how do we make the city smarter than actually going for the whole um, ideal vision of a perfect smart city. So we have existing cities and uh, I, I belong to Chandigarh, Minister also mentioned about it. So it's a, it's a city which has come up in the last 60, 70 years, it's now in a perfect shape, which we can say uh, one of the modern cities. I don't know how much of smart city it can be called. And I have, now I live in a city uh, called... The new people kind of uh, uh, say that the Chandigarh is no longer a smart city, it's actually uh, again ending towards a dead city. And the new models of urbanization actually say that sprawls as a model which Chandigarh uh, signifies does not work. So, uh, right. <laughs> yeah, I think the, by the time it was visualized in 1955, perhaps that was one vision, but now obviously everything has changed. Uh, and now I live in a city, Mumbai, which is I think perhaps in your definition is another dead city, right? <laughs> so yeah, Mumbai is another dead city because I mean, uh, the business district of Mumbai, which is Nariman Point, has completely collapsed. Uh, it sees a vacancy of 60 to 70 percent. Rentals there have not gone up for the last 10 years. So, I mean, that's a sign of a dead city. So the first objective would be that how OIT can play a role in making these so-called mm. dead city or almost dead cities are really alive cities and can bring in the ex difference between the life of uh, the citizens that they're living in there as well as the business. So first thing which we normally call when we say smart city is, uh, is, uh, is practically in IT worlds, we divide it into three layers. One is the inputs. It's practically whether you capture it through uh, sensors or through cameras or through whichever layer where perhaps which are not, I mean, not be ideally visible to you, but they are capturing all the inputs. The second layer is the connectivity part where all these devices have to be connected to a central data system which perhaps can pull in all the analytics and applications. So there is a connectivity part which you already have seen the networks like 3G networks, 4G networks, a lot of talk around Wi-Fi. I won't go into too much how and why, but uh, that's going to be another key. So basically all these devices need to be connected and sending whatever information is being captured to a central place. And then on top of it lies the applications. And that's perhaps the simplest part in, uh, considering the foundation is going to be in place once the, the, the applications will keep on coming. coming. Whether we can, in, in a city like Mumbai, whether the transport is one very important issue which we are dealing with, uh, you don't know how much time is going to take for, from reaching from one place to other place for many reasons. The mode of transport or traffic or the condition or the weather or whatever, or maybe uh, festivals and all. So you, ideally, if there is a way where we can leverage these applications sitting on top, whether it's transport, whether it's parking, whether it's lighting, whether it's... So say or, there is, of course, this obvious question that, one, who's going to build all these three layers, you know? Uh, second, uh, I mean, at the end of the thing, do you think that these three layers by themselves make a city smart? So, so obviously, the, the fundamentals of a city will, to make it smart will be much different, right? This is this is enabling point, what we said, uh, making it smarter. But the fundamentals like integrated structure across these authorities who are going to be governing it, uh, obviously a self-sustaining economic model, and also the, the inclusiveness of a city, which somebody said maybe gender, but also the few other pieces like the economic weaker as well as the, the, the diverse section of business. They are the fundamentals of a city to be making it livable. IT will certainly enable this, all these layers to make it really execute as a smarter city.